I want to answer another question from a YouTube subscriber. Dan Davies asks, I've never understood why, in Final Cut 10, you have to switch playback mode from using proxy media to optimized original media to ensure a video is rendered at the highest quality. Could you offer an explanation? It seems that given the setting is labeled playback, it shouldn't have anything to do with exported video. Well, there's, there's actually two questions being asked there. One, rendering, and the other is exporting. If you are shooting, say, H.264 video, and you bring that H.264 video as a QuickTime movie into Final Cut 10, it will edit it as H.264 video. The good news is it comes in simply, it's already a QuickTime movie, and you can edit it, but if you're adding effects or if you're doing lots of dissolves, the render times take a lot longer because H.264 is a highly compressed format that is mathematically really dense. We talked about codecs in another video. The H.264 codec is extremely complex to create small files, but it can cause problems in editing. To solve that, we will optimize, which is simply Apple's word to mean transcode, which is a fancy word that means convert. So we're going to convert that H.264 video into something which edits much more easily, in this case, ProRes. ProRes creates much, much larger files, but they render faster, they output faster, they're just faster and better, and they also have the potential for higher quality than H.264, which is something I'll save for another video. So, we have camera native H.264 or optimized ProRes 422, but the ProRes 422 files are really, really, really big. So there's a third option, which is called a proxy file. A proxy file is approximately one-fourth to one-fifth the size of ProRes 422. Because the file size is smaller, you can move these proxy files to a laptop and do all of your work on a laptop without having to lug massive hard disks around with you. The good news is the proxy files work. The bad news is because they're smaller, they're also lower quality, and there could be problems if you're working with something that needs really, really high quality. Think theatrical projection, projection in a corporate environment, or a broadcast spot. Now, for the web, sometimes proxy is more than sufficient for the web, but, you know, your needs are different. Proxy files, very small files. Camera native doesn't have to be converted. Optimized gives you really, really high quality. The preference setting controls the format that you're playing, the format that you're rendering, and the format that you output. If I wanted to output something really small and tiny, I'd set it to proxy. If I want to output something which is higher quality, then you go back to that preference setting and set it to optimized. If you have optimized files, it outputs the ProRes 422 files. If you haven't optimized, it automatically edits in camera native, and you're able to output H.264 files. So that output option is controlled by the proxy optimized setting. Camera native, simple and easy but slow. Optimized, highest quality but big file sizes. Proxy, small file sizes, very fast but somewhat less quality. Now you get to choose.